Welcome to SCNC 1111 Scientific Method and Reasoning. Hopefully by now you should have already learned about the logistics of this course by reading the corresponding document. But what are we trying to achieve in this course? In the following few minutes, let us share more on this with you. So what do people expect from an HKU science graduate? At HKU, we are not training technicians. People expect science graduates of HKU to be knowledgeable, responsible, equipped with independent, logical, and critical thinking, able to solve problems systematically and logically, able to meet the challenge of the dynamic world. We are training problem solvers and leaders of tomorrow. Hmm, this sounds quite a lot to achieve. This also seems to demand us to take a closer look at how we learn and probably make some corresponding changes. If you are still obsessed with the examination-oriented courses that practice makes perfect and is confident in getting a good grade, you will be obsoleted in less than 10 years. Why? Because our world has already been changing and will continue to be changing. So we really have to update ourselves so as to prepare for the future. Are you ready for the future? Currently, we're in the fourth industrial revolution with a lot of technologies like robotics, artificial intelligence, nanotechnology, biotechnology, 3D printing, as well as autonomous vehicles. IBM Watson is the AI developed by IBM, so what can it do? It can offer legal advice within seconds with 90% accuracy in comparison with 70% by humans. It can diagnose cancer four times more accurate than human noses. It can process payment assessments in insurance. It can also do pricing optimization for retailers. It is estimated that 70 to 80% of current jobs will disappear in the next 20 years. On the other hand, it is estimated that the average lifespan increases by 3 months per year at an increasing rate, and by 2030, there will be more than one year increase per year. People will live more than 100 years by then. Elise will have a secondary brain that stores information through a HD camera just below their eyelids. Forgetfulness will be a forgotten phenomenon. So I would like to share with you this quote. I do not believe you can do today's job with yesterday's methods and be in business tomorrow. In Faculty of Science, we focus on whole person development and in this course, we echoed with the educational aims in the faculty. Please do not treat this as a mathematics course, but you will be taught to learn how to learn, to reason quantitatively, and to understand scientific aspects of complex issues, to tackle novel situations, to work and communicate effectively with others within and outside scientific disciplines, to develop into an all-round individual,